Hello, this is Yuka from the jarbar.org. This is part 8 of my series of tutorials. I'm going to show you now how we install uh, NetBeans into our VirtualBox guest. Uh, very similar to my previous tutorial, I'm going to make use of a script from our website. And you just need to go to the jarbar.org. And just to explain roughly what the script does to you, uh, the script fetches a NetBeans install script and um, it uh, runs this install script. Now it may seem silly to you to have a a script which installs a script but my script does a few additional things. So just go to my tutorial section and under Linux go to the install NetBeans uh, script and what my script does uh, in addition to the regular NetBeans install script which you can download from netbeans.org is uh, similar to my previous tutorial uh, it tests whether the system is a system in running in VirtualBox with guest editions uh, installed and um, with this test over here and if this uh, succeeds then it tries to mount your NetBeans projects um, if you've set them up for sharing of course and if the NetBeans projects are successfully mounted then once again like the previous tutorial uh, we have scripts which are created for us in our user local bin directory which allow us to mount and unmount NetBeans projects um, on the fly additionally the script will prompt you once again for your script file which you can write commands to uh, during your system startup and it does this um, to try and auto make the process of mounting your NetBeans projects to uh, sorry from your host to your guest system and once again the best way to see this in action is to download the script here in front just by clicking the purple section just click on save file and for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to set up NetBeans projects um, from Windows as a shared folder. Now NetBeans projects it's in your My Documents um, directory within Windows under your user profile you'll see there's NetBeans projects and note for this tutorial here yeah, I've got like a Maven project called Maven Project 1 that's in that uh, directory. So I'm going to share this folder in VirtualBox. I'm going to go to Devices under Shared Folders and I'm going to um, add a shared folder with a blue icon here. I'm going to make it permanent so that I don't have to re repeat this process every time. And I want to read and write, so I'm going to leave the read only unchecked. I'm going to go to the drop down list and I'm going to pick um, the NetBeans projects directory. If I just go to my documents and NetBeans projects, select OK and OK again. Now obviously before installing NetBeans you need Java installed on your system. Now that we've downloaded uh, NetBeans, I'm just going to close here and um, go to my terminal. I'm going to type in the, the bash command to download, or sorry, to install the NetBeans script. So install netbeans.sh and once again we're prompted for the path and if you're using OpenSUSE you'll need to fill in et forward slash etc forward slash um, rc dot d forward slash boot dot local that's if you're using OpenSUSE but for normal Linux systems like uh, Ubuntu you can just use the default provided for you and then you're prompted for the NetBeans version and the current version is 7.1 so we're just going to hit enter and NetBeans is going to download now so I'm just going to pause the tutorial briefly while it downloads right so NetBeans is almost finished downloading once again the script is going to restart my Ubuntu system and once it's restarted I'm going to show you um, the contents of user local bin I'm going to also nano the uh, starts with well, a script file which we wrote to 
just going to go through the NetBeans installer here and I'm going to accept the license agreement click on next and also accept JUnit click on next and you note the location where NetBeans will be installed to uh, NetBeans also picks up your JDK that is if you've set your Java home uh, environment variable and again I'm just going to pause while uh, NetBeans installs just for the sake of uh, saving time well actually I'm going to let it run, it's going pretty fast and in the meantime I'm going to show you the contents of uh, user local bin I'm going to ls user local bin and you see here that we have uh, only the maven contents initially but when once NetBeans is finished installing and it's rebooted um, you're going to notice that the contents of user local bin will contain scripts to mount and unmount your Net NetBeans projects um, so all that's left now is just going to wait for the script to finish just going to exit these as well Is done and just click the finish button once you've finished. Uh, you're prompted for your password it's because script files are um, copied to your user local bin. And once it's rebooted, I'll show you that NetBeans projects are mounted from our host to our guest, and we're able to run the NetBeans command from the terminal to launch. Nate Beans. So if I type in, uh, I'm just going to do my password quickly. So I'm going to list the contents of the NetBeans projects directory which is in your user home and you'll see that my Maven project 1 which I crea created in Windows has successfully been shared to the Ubuntu guest. Additionally if I run the NetBeans command here I'll be able to launch NetBeans and I'll be able to or I should be able to um, explore that project in NetBeans just wait for NetBeans to launch here and file open project and you see that we have our Maven project from Windows here and we're able to um, continue to work with it on our uh, guest system this shows you how to install NetBeans onto Ubuntu which is running as a guest inside VirtualBox and this is part 8 of my series of tutorials showing you my development environment. Thank you for watching.